In this Revit tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create procedural materials, actually how you can create materials with using procedural maps in Revit. And if you just follow this tutorial step by step, and even if you're a beginner, you will be able to create a very nice materials and to expand the library of materials you're using in your Revit projects. But just before I move to the topic, I would like to invite you to join our community of architects. It's free to join and we also have free Revit training there. Access link is in a video description. I'm in Revit right now and as you can see in front of me is a floor I created. It's 3 by 3 meters. And then I'm going to create material which I'm going to apply to this floor. But just before I start with creating materials, I'm going to open material I'm going to create. So it's going to be those tiles here. And I will firstly create some investigation. So let's say that I would like to find, let's say, what is the square. So let's make, let's say that this is square. And I'm going to assume that, let's say, this height here is 300. So we have it three times. So let's say the total height of our square is 900. And then I can also make, let's say, 900 in width. And I can just place, let's say, 10 of them. So I have those three rows and then 10 columns. Then I'm going to Revit to Manage tab. And then from here, I'm going to open Materials. Let's click here. And then let's create new material. And let's name this one as Architectiles01. I will do nothing with the graphics and I'm going to go to appearance straight away. And then here, I don't want to use image because as I said, I don't want to use textures. I would like to use procedural maps and I would like to create one. So I will click here on this arrow and then from here, I will pick tiles. And as I said, if you remember, I created 900 by 900. So in this case, I'm just going to increase the sample size to 900 by 900. Then we have, let's say, three rows. Actually, we have three columns. And then we have, let's say, ten rows. So something like this, our tiles are going to look like. And then it means that the size of one is 10 centimeters by 30 centimeters. Then what I need to do is to go here to the tile appearance. And then I need to pick color so I can maybe take this one. And then... Below that, there is growth appearance and I would like to click here and I would like to, let's say, change or actually we'll take this one and make it a little bit darker. So something like this, maybe. So let's click OK. Let's click OK here. And then I will, for example, go to 3D and then in 3D view, I'm going to turn on textures. PT is a shortcut for paint take material and then paint it here. So here it comes. You see how it looked like. And as you can see, we also have some kind of variations. So not all the tiles look the same. And if you would like to adjust it or to play with it a little bit more, and actually if you would like to get, let's say, some kind of effect like this, so to have it more exposed, like you see, we have more difference between the tiles here. You need to go to materials and then we need to go here again. So I just need to click here to tiles. And then you will see here color variance. And then I can just, let's say, take this slider. And then you see, or I can just type number like 0 0.1. And then let's say 0 0.1 here. So you see that it's more exposed. And if I click done and OK, then all our tiles are more exposed. And by the way, there is also one thing we can add here. So let's move to realistic, for example. And as you can see, we have no bump. And maybe this growth is a very thick. So I will adjust our material a little bit more. I will go to materials. Let's take this one. And then I'm going to turn on bump. And in this case, I will just cancel this pop-up dialog. And I'm going to go here and create tiles. So if I remember, we had 10, 3. So for tile appearance, because I don't want to uh, place any effect on the tiles itself, I will just place white color. And then for the growth appearance, I will pick black color. And then let's click done. 
let's click done and then if I zoom in you will see okay that this is not well so you see how the bump reflects and this is the great example to to understand why it's like this so if I again go to material the reason is here we have sample size of 900 by 900 but here sample size is 300 by 300 so I just need to increase it let's click OK apply and now you see that it works and also what we can do we can just make our growth a bit smaller and let's do the same for our bump and then you see that the growths are smaller let's go to texture so you see how it look like and this was the way to get a very nice ceramic tiles for example which were kind of clean and modern with the color variations but what's going on if you for example would like to get this kind of effect so they have those kind of rough edges so how you can do that i will go to plan view and then i'm gonna copy this one and then in 3d i will continue working on this one here so i need to go to manage and i will take our material so i'm gonna go right click and then duplicate materials and assets so i would like to create completely new asset and in this case i'm gonna name this as architecture tiles 02 then i will go here to the tiles and i can just adjust the growth so if you go here to the growth appearance you will see roughness and we have no roughness just to have those growths better exposed i will i will make them bigger so 0 0.5 0 0.5 and let's make roughness for example on one but you see that nothing happens so let's make this a little bit bigger you see let's make it maybe on five now you see how it looks like or let's say make it on 15 or maybe 10. so this is okay and then i need to repeat the same for our bump map so let's make 10 and then 0 0.5 0 0.5 let's click ok and i can just slightly adjust the color here so i can maybe take let's say this one and then for growth i can take i can take this one so let's click ok and then i'm gonna go to pt i'm gonna that's the paint tool shortcut and i'm gonna paint this one and then you see that we got those growths with the rough edges maybe they are too rough and if you would like to adjust it just go to material and then let's make it two and a half and then let's click done and let's do the same here for bump and you see it's it's been adjusted and i think that this is a very useful way for you to create it and to have a very nice a very nice ceramic tiles as you can see we have different colors we have different kind of the growth appearance and in just a couple of minutes but what's going on if you would like to create material as this one is for example so in this case you see that we have this kind of the checker style but we have no color for the tiles we have texture applied and also that texture has kind of randomization so first of all what I'm gonna do will be kind of let's say investigation so I will let's say assume that this part here like this size so what I'm going actually is to find uh, from where our pattern is repeating so we have this as a repeating pattern and as I said I'm gonna let's say uh, assume that this is 600 by 600 so which means that this part here is 300 and then if I think more so this we have three of them which means that this tile is 100 by 100 and I'm gonna create this in Revit so I will again go to materials and then I'm gonna create new material and in this case I'm gonna name this one as Architezi tiles 03 and then for appearance I will go here and I'm gonna pick checker and as I said, our checker is 600 by 600. And then 
what I'm gonna do with this one and what's great with procedural maps is that you can take one procedural map and then for example like you see this color one I will not take color I will click here and then I'm gonna take tiles so you can take one procedural map then you can place another one into that one and so on uh, <laughs> how many you need and in this case so you see I have checker then for the first fill of the checker I will place tiles and then my first field is going to be 300 by 300 and then I have three of them by three of them and instead of color in this case I will click here and I will take texture and if you go to program files common then autodesk shared materials textures you will see three folders so first folder has the smallest texture second one the middle sized one and third one the high res textures in this case i'm gonna take the middle one and then go to mats so you can find a lot of great textures and i can say that you can create most of the things you need using those autodesk textures so in this case i can just zoom this a little bit so just hold control and scroll the wheel on a on a mouse let's type st i will just take some kind of stone and in this case i can maybe take this gray stone, stone, stone color let's click open and then the sample size is going to be 300 by 300 so be, be, before i click done i need to go back here to the checker and then I need to set up something for the color two. So for color two, I need to go to tiles again, three rows, three columns, and then sample size 300 by 300. And then for the second uh, part of the checker, I need to go here again, and I need to place other image. So let's, let's, let's make zoom in again, ST for example, stone and in this case i can take i can take maybe this one so let's click ok let's click ok and i will now just copy this floor and then i will go here to modify and you will find paint tool here so paint let's take architecture tiles 03 and let's paint this one and here it comes you see how it look like and also what's great you see that we have this kind of randomization of the tiles and by the way uh, even better thing with this one is that we can let me just take a look at this picture i'm not sure if the growth color is the same in uh, let's say this white and green fields so if you would like to change the growth color for the fields you can do that and let's just go to manage materials and for the third one so i need to click here on checker and then i need to go deeper so let's say this is tiles one and for tiles one i can maybe i can maybe take let's say this gray one and i can make it 0 0.3 0 0.3 and then sorry i click done i need to go to the second one and then for second one i can make maybe this you see how it look like or let's let's make let's make maybe more bright one something like this and let's make this 0 0.3 0 0.3 let's click ok click apply and here it comes and on this way you can really create so many materials and uh, how many you want and as i said you can take one procedural map and then add another to that one and so on I really hope that you're going to find this one useful. This is a very useful topic. And if you're willing to support Architeasy to continue creating content more often, you can do that by joining to our Architeasy Plus group.